Okay, we're back with Arrow. Same, we're doing pretty much the same thing. Um, I am gonna build off of every day. I try to build off of what we're doing. Um, with her, it's just been such a short window of time. There's only so much you're really gonna get done. Um, and I'm not big, I, I'm, I'm not at all, uh, I don't believe in doing stuff kind of, and then moving on. I think you gotta get almost perfect at it before you really start moving on. Um, and, because you gotta bring whatever you mastered with you. And if you bring 50% stuff with you the next level if you will of training that you go to it's going to be divided again divided again and pretty soon you're just really washed out washed down with the quality of um, the skills that she has and once you get as we continue to go down the road things get a little more complicated things get a little more complex if you're not really good at them and things get tougher you're really going to be hurting so um so we have to get good and, the, and a lot of this stuff is just it's just time consuming um, for her to understand that she can't mess around with stuff part of it is, is she's a puppy so i i don't expect her to do it perfectly if she did i'd be concerned um so it's just it's just the the point i'm trying to make is it's something that progresses over a period of time um now with her i did get a couple questions uh with with these videos so far we've only done I mean, we're only gonna end up with i don't know six seven eight of them by the time she goes home um but some of the questions that came up have been and, and there's also th points that i want to make too the bags people have asked me about the bag now the bag to me is a real important tool training bag um i like this style because i can get it out of the way and you got to have your hands free um, there's a lot of times where i'm looking at working with my hands some of my dogs i'm doing hand signals with if you have stuff in your hands it won't work you all the, also the issue is is when we start working with some of the things that we're going to be doing Doing, like a denial which is this excitement a distraction I'm gonna go pick it up myself which is gonna show her that every time something flies it's not hers um, it, it, it creates a lot of steadiness so we do a lot of denial work so I stand on the lead ah sit I stand on the lead Man, I can't even get to that far yet because I, I got to have her. So I reach down, I grab this with the lead. Now you'll notice where's her attention. As soon as I got something in my hands, her attention is focused on it a lot. If I wanted her to focus on me, it's hard. When the, so when I put this away, it's out of sight and it's out of mind. And all of a sudden she, it's very easy for me to ask her to do something. Good good so we build up to the ability to be able to use these distractions good I'm standing on the lead if she were to run she'd have she'd have corrected herself uh, she stood up you could see she felt the pressure uh, <clears throat> and it wasn't it was the weight of that lead and collar and she knew she why pull I know what's on the other end of this. That's been in, that's been imprinted into her now with our healing lessons. Um, it's it's the it's the dog's ability to understand to give the pressure to the neck. Don't fight pressure to the neck. Go back to wherever that object is, and it turns pressure off. That's the idea behind our heel work. So the training bag allows me to get the stuff out of my hands, um, and I do have. I kind of thin the bag down when I'm working with her, but some of my other dogs, I got six, seven, eight bumpers in here, all different styles, all different types. Um, I've got her hide wrapped bumper in here right now. Um, that's another thing that people asked about was, what's the, what are you talking about hide wrapped? This is just a piece of hide. Um, it's been fleshed and dried, cured, won't spoil, won't rot. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to figure out if I can tag some of this stuff into these videos um, product-wise. But we take this, we wrap it around the, this is one of our puppy bumpers, but it'll fit on a standard bumper too. Um, and then we just electrical tape it to it. Um, it's a great way for us to get her used to picking up, not turning these into chew toys, having it be fun. And now we get a little bit of a recall and a little bit of a delivery for a, a, a retrieve. Come on, come on, come on. So you're kind of mouthing it. Come on, come on, good. Now get her to me and I'm not in a hurry to take it away. We talked about this in our other video. Don't turn this into keep away. Good, sit, sit, get her to sit up nice. Sit up, sit up, good, good. Get a hold of the collar. I'm not grabbing the dummy, did. Did. Don't turn it into tug of war. 
Tug of war is the worst thing I can do with a retriever. It teaches them possessiveness. It makes them want to pull away from me. I don't want the, you get a hard mouth out of it. it. I do not want dogs that are going to be retrieving playing tug of war. It creates damaged, damaged birds or whatever it is. I don't want that. So, um, but we get these little, so I've got that with me. I can use, I can build it into our sessions. Um, so that's the, that's the idea behind the bags. Another thing that I, I noticed when I watched the video that I didn't talk much about, and I've been doing it with her, and I've got a new puppy that I was talking, thinking about um, that's a, a little younger than her, and we're starting a training series with that puppy too. We will be soon. Um, we started it, but we haven't shared any of it yet. Um, but we're just starting to work in on that. I remembered with that puppy, I want to start to build a habit with these dogs. I don't like when dogs, when you go to put the lead on or take the lead off, I don't like these dogs that pull their heads out and throw their heads back and try to fuss to get away from me. I, I think you're starting out right off the bat. When you take the lead off, you, you don't have control physically anymore. And so you're setting a tone of pull away from him and I'm free. And a lot of times that's when the lead comes off and the dogs just strike, they just take off. I see that a lot. I want the dog to have the collar come on and off, on and off, on and off, and not change the behavior of the dog. I want the dog to be okay with the idea of, I might take it on, I might put it on, then I might take it off and she shouldn't move, nothing should change. And then I might put it back on and then I might take it off and then I might put it, so I, I don't want them sit, sit. Okay, so a little watchdog in here. Come on, come on. Break that. I don't want her attention over there. That's not, you're with me. Sit. Good. 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 Okay, some, I got our guys, my son and his buddy unloading firewood. Good job for young men on a hot summer day. Um, so I've got her. I'm going to show you how I do that. This is a habit that I start early. I don't turn this into a, a game of good. So I got her here. I like to get under her chin. Come here, come here. I like to, I don't like to panic when she's loose because she feels that panic and she goes, get out of here. I like to get under her chin. Come on. I like to get her used to getting under her chin. I like to take my hand and, I'll, uh, and I, I'm going to talk again about how to put this on correctly. Come here. Come on, no, 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 come on. Ah, 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 ah. So there's a butterfly. Oh, that's a lot of puppy in her. Good dog, come on. We got just, go ahead guys. These guys are come, moving through. What you got? Oh, good dog. Come here, come here. Ah, ah. Here's a little, good dog, come on. No, 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 no. Too much distraction. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, very good. Come on. Those guys don't pay attention to her, which is good. Ah, arrow, come on, come on, come on. Good dog. Very good. That is a good dog. She comes in, lots of praise. Now, here's a perfect example. Because this is as real as it gets. And she's just wound up and she's a little mouthy. So I'm gonna get a hold of her. Ah, ah, ah. Enough. 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 And I'm gonna bring her back down. So unplanned, unedited. Like that's, that, that is why I love doing these real candid. When things don't go well, you should see it because how do you handle that? You know, we, she runs off, I could have got real pissed off. I could have jumped all over her. Uh, she could have got real excited. Those guys could have fed into her excitement. She could have ran a hot lap. All these things could have happened. You saw how we responded. Don't lose your cool. She investigates. I was trying to get a little retrieve out of her. I'm not worried about that. Um, didn't work. On to the next thing. She runs over, wants to play with them. I get on the whistle. One thing that was real visual to me was this whistle's got some power. Uh, when she hears the whistle, she gets attention and she came to me both times I blew it. Sit. 
but you see how you see how quickly you can go from real nice focus and attention with no distractions to a couple little distractions and the wheels kind of fall off and so those are the things that happen in everyday life those are the things that you have to deal with those are the opportunities for um, dogs to really learn stuff that's that's where a lesson can come in it also is where you practice all this stuff under control so that when that happens you can get back to that habit um, recall is powerful with her she, when, before we came down here to film she ran over to see those guys they were unloading firewood and I recalled her to me ah that didn't work she kept going I got the whistle in my mouth I beep, 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 beep. she turned and looked I went come on come on come on she doo, 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 came right back to me so that habit and her understanding he's not a very bad guy and when he calls me good things happen I re I really praised her when she came back in um, so now you saw towards the, you, as she boils over there and loses loses her control a little bit I had to maintain mine and so at a point, I did get a hold of her scruff. I grabbed a hold of this. Now she's real instinctive. That gets her wound up. I've had to do it several times. It's just like when mom, you, you get mom mad enough dog wise, she's gonna come and hold, get a hold of that dog and give her a little growl. And all of a sudden they go, oops, sorry. I had to do that at times. She is real instinctive to snap back at me. Uh, I don't know if it's her personality, if it's, I've not trained a lot of these dogs. So if it's the mouthiness from that, I, I don't see that a lot with my little labs. My little labs usually don't even think to nip back. Um, I have had some sit. But that moment when she came in like that, I gotta get a hold down here. I gotta be able to touch her and not be afraid. I like, I think this is a very soothing thing for a dog. I think you get a hold of them like this and you look them in the eyes and you don't let them f turn their head out. Good. Ah, ah, ah. I just grabbed a little bit of hold here and she started licking me. Good. Good. And I got real nice eyes there and now I get out. Very good. Come here. So those are all, these are all just real soft ways of establishing leadership. Um, you know, this isn't where we were even starting. We were gonna start doing heel work, but uh, this is good stuff. When she <clears throat> nips back at me, I don't fold. I don't back away. I don't get scared. I don't get intimidated. I don't get to be an asshole either. I don't, I don't snap her. I don't crack her. I got to get her respect. It tells me I don't have her respect. When I, by the time I get through with that and I get a hold of her, sit, sit, sit. She starts to lick my hand and go, man, I'm really sorry. Her ears are back, her eyes are here. I'm really sorry, dad. And so I gotta, you gotta remember, you can't hold grudges against these things. I think a lot of people get mad at their dog because it ran off and it wasn't listening. And I see these, I see this, these points where people get start getting mad. And then the dog finally comes to them and they're so pissed off, they don't praise the dog. They're just you, 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 you. And they hold a grudge against her for the next day. And so everything that she does well, you don't re you respond to it properly. And I just think that that's one of the biggest things is you just can't hold grudges against these. I gotta go from being Mr. Jerk, ah, nah, 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 to you're so good, you're very good. It's back and forth. And so mentally, we have to stay in the middle. So now I'm gonna go back to, sidetracked all over, I'm gonna go back to putting this lead on, taking it on and off. So she doesn't bolt. She's, this has been something we've been working on. I like to get a hold of this and get it over. Sit, 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 sit. She's distracted. The guys are working down there again. She really wants to see that. Her, especially with her big long ears when they're up, 
I have to take this thing up and over her ears. And when that goes up and over her ears, it doesn't always feel the best. And so I think they have a tendency to want to really pull their heads out. My dogs do it too. My labs do it. I don't want them fussing their heads out. So I'm going to take it off, put it on, take it off, put it on. It's going to turn into this thing where it's, it's real natural. It's real comfortable. Sit. It doesn't change anything. Sit. Hear the tone of voice change? It doesn't change anything with them, behavior-wise. So we can practice this. I don't, ah, ah, ah. That little pulling out, I don't want. And she spins up to sit. She, she's real, and she's in that mood right now. Very puppy-like. No. Come here. So this is something that needs practice. And it's a little bit more difficult with her than with my retrievers, because they don't tend to be as mouthy as her. Sit. But I want, sit, sit, S sit. Too much distraction. I got the guys down there, it's too noisy. It's not the right spot to do this. So put it on my list and say, do it later when it's you by yourself in the house. Do it later when there's no one else around. If those guys weren't down there, I think we'd be fine. The time that this session is gone is gone a little bit long. So what I'm gonna do is, so that's just something that, that needs to be worked on. Um, we got a little distraction. We had to pick up a hide, heel. Sit. I wanna end it, I don't wanna end it on that. I don't think we ended it on, it's not real positive. What I want to do is go back to something she knows well. This will be a challenge because it's so long into this session. So we're going to see if she can't give me some real nice heel work, some sit to the whistle, some focus, just straight up focus. Arrow, arrow, heel. Good. Come on. Something that she's done for, I mean, guys, you don't realize how long we've, how often we've done this. It's why she's gotten pretty good at it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good. Sit. One command, she doesn't do it, I'm gonna make her. Arrow, heel. Come on, come on. I'm gonna pick her face up a little bit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good, good, good. Again, something that she should know how to do. We've done a lot of this, but I can just tell she's distracted. This has gone probably longer than her attention is good for, but this is one of those moments that because it's something that we've done so many times, and I think she knows pretty well, I'm okay with pushing it a little bit farther because it's not something new, and I do think she'll get through it. Arrow, heel. And I think we're gonna gain something for it. Just almost like an endurance thing. Now I'm gonna turn into her. This is new. Good. Good. Relatively new. We've done it a couple days now. Heel. Good. Very much my body steering her without forcing. So it's like this force field between us where it's like a, a spreader and I, I have to get her to move without touching. I want her moving and when she gets out of the way, I, I help bend her back. But I want her moving without me touching her. And it, so she stops and blocks up a bumper. Bumper, good. It's, it's her understanding her, the space. And then when she gets into the right spot, I give her a break, come on. It's easy to do that. It's a lot easier to do that walking away from a dog. It's when you walk into them. Good. There was the last part that I needed. Good. 
and she just gave me a really deep sigh which tells me a couple things <clears throat> body language wise she's settled she's also probably pretty close to the end here uh, from her ability to kind of absorb this so I don't mind kind of wrapping it up with you guys talking wise just having her just sit here um, and not fuss and not fool around and she uh, before we brought her out this morning I worked Cody which is a dog we're doing a series on we worked our little puppy Bella or the new little puppy Bella um, we did a couple other things before we worked with her and ideally it'd be nice to get it done earlier when it's cooler but we're just doing stuff in the shade so I can get away with it um, but with her the idea was we weren't gonna work her until she settled in in the kennel Ben can attest to this it probably took 45 minutes uh, she barked and barked and barked and last night I put her in the kennel before we went to bed not a peep um, so she has a little bit harder time doing it during the day and in the morning especially um, she does a little bit better in the evening I think it's a routine thing I think it's you know we fall asleep every night at the same time pretty close so she knows like there's nothing there's no other option for the next however long I'm gonna sleep so she's given in to fussing a lot 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 better at night in the morning she'd like to do other things she hears other things there's other activities going on there's other dogs Dogs, there's whistles there's stuff going on that's distracting to her she has a hard time getting past that um, she's getting better she's believe it or not you know she's getting better um, so I, I think it's a consistency thing can we get through her through it yes will her owners get her through it yes if they're willing to um, put up with maybe is the way of putting it or deal with or handle or work through however you want to word it her in her instability in the kennel we got to get through that till it starts to stable out um, or stabilize a bit and we'll get there we'll get there it's gonna take some time if you don't that little puppy that we have is about a month younger and she's been started in the kennel since I think seven or eight weeks old and when I say kennel I mean a crate in the house so if you do that from the start it's easy it, I mean you put up with one or two nights and one or two t days of barking and whining and fussing but they really quickly realize it's normal um, it because it's very unnormal when they move into your house but it becomes very normal very quickly because that's all they know come on come on if you give them months without it it's real it takes a lot longer to get them where you want them to be so that's the lesson is don't don't wait I saw someone on Facebook ask a question in a group and I try to avoid groups as much as possible but um, and that, just because they, they get messy but I saw someone ask a question when should I start training my dog I got it at seven or eight weeks old when should I start training this was shed training stuff and I would say the majority of the people in the group responded let him be a puppy for the first four to six months and I think you got a nightmare on your hands if you do if you do that I do think you can't put too much pressure on them but I think there's a balance and I think what the takeaway if I was that person reading it first off if I asked that question I don't know that much stuff about it so I think you're smart for going out and getting getting as much information as you can if I read the answers I would go oh just let them do what they want until they're six months old cool my kids will be able to do this stuff with them and at about probably about this age or maybe even a little younger uh, she's about 19 weeks I think right now sit sit at about this age or about a month younger there's a lot of dogs that go to the shelter because they're out of control they create all sorts of problems it's because you just have given them zero structure so the answer my answer to that person would be the day you pick them up that's the day you start training them it's just at what level uh, at what with what expectations how consistent how we, you know all that stuff is the day we pick them up and that doesn't matter if they're this one was 14 or 15 weeks old when we picked her up we started that day she had had a different start before she got here some of the stuff she just accelerated because she had a real good start some of the stuff she struggled with because she was starting new um, but that's it so we're not going to push her anymore that's plenty for her ah, ah, ah. 
A good thing to do with her right now would either be bring her to place, have her lay on her place bed, which she struggles, she cheats off of uh, a lot. Um, we're working on getting better at that. It takes 100% focus on her uh, attention with her, and that's why we bring her to the shop, and she lays on there quite often, most of the day. Or she's into the kennel. Right now, she's gonna go into the kennel because it's gonna be a really good chance for her to just soak in what we just went through. And then you could break, you could have, this session could have lasted five minutes and achieved a lot. We just spent a lot of time talking. We could have three, four of those a day. Good. So that's it.